Hi, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video, I'm going to be configuring uh, IP version 6 static routing uh, between two, two end users uh, located off of loopback interfaces off of router 0 and router 1. Um, a lot of people get scared of IP version 6 simply of the fact of the size of the the IP address that is associated with IP version 6. Uh, but the matter of the fact is that IP version 6 really isn't too uh, difficult of a protocol to learn once you just sit down and uh, you know, try to figure it out. Uh, there's a lot of cool features and advantages with IP version 6 over IP version 4. Uh, sorry about that guys, uh, sorry about the phone in the background. Uh, that was just the president. Uh, just call and see what's up. No, I'm just joking. He uh, he would never call me. Um, what was I talking about? Okay, yeah, IP version six. A lot of cool features with IP version six. Advantages of IP version six over IP version four, like auto configuration on the local segment. You know, finding a you can have a router um, advertise uh, routes to hosts via auto configuration DHCP. Uh, pretty cool stuff. Um, what we're going to do here, we're not going to do that right now. Uh, what we're going to do, we're just going to do some static routing. And the way the IP version 6 address uh, looks, um, I guess first we should, um, first what I should do is to show you what an IP version 6 uh, address looks like. Um, going to write it out in full notation here. And uh, that's pretty much it. You've got it's 128 bit and each of these zeros, you know, all of these digits are basically hexadecimal. So as you can see, there's a lot I'm sorry, I think I even missed. There you go. So you have eight spaces here. Uh, two bytes per space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the cool thing about IP version six is that you know your your IP addresses can be uh, simplified. Uh, you know, basically compressed by what's called uh, leading zero notation. So say we have a um, uh, an address of, you know, let's go back and take a look at this. This is what it would be in, you know, this is what an IP address would look like, you know, in full blown, uh, version of the IP address. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now what we can do, we can even simplify this down smaller by what's called leading a leading zero compression. We can compress this by basically we're just taking two colons, putting them together. Say everything in between these two colons are zeros. Okay, you can only do this once in an IP version six address. And that's all we really need to do here is once. So we can say everything in between here is zeros. And then we can just do it like that. And just put the one on the end. Or you can write it out like this. Okay, same difference. Let's see, we can also uh, take away these zeros in the front of the one. So that's a simplified version of an IP uh, version 6 address. Um, see, I'm using the 2000 range here because that's the aggregatable global unicast uh, range. Actually, it's this is the, uh, the range here that we use. Basically, it's the same as uh, IP version 4 unicast. Uh, this is for host-to-host -host communication, uh, IP version 6, global unicast. 
Now, um, what's cool about IP version 6.2 is that uh, that um, that hosts can discover each other through uh, what's called their link local addresses. Okay, and these these addresses are local to the link that you're on, like a you know a multi-access link, like a you know like serial link or or an Ethernet network. And we'll see that here. Uh, what what that's how that uh, happens. Um, on the Ethernet interfaces, uh, the MAC address is part of this uh, link local address, and I'll show you how that happens. But basically, uh, hosts on you know an Ethernet network can uh, find each other uh, through uh, these link local addresses. Uh, because IP version 6 uses uh, IP version uh, ICMP version 6 to discover neighbors on a local segment um, kind of like where IP version 4 uses ARP for uh, layer 3 to 2 mapping um, IP version 6 uses ICMP version 6 to map layer 3 to 2 uh, you know posts and I'll show you how this works here shortly. So I just wanted to go over a little of the basics of you know IP version six address and um, the link local addresses. They all start out the same. They they all use the network FE eight zero colon colon forward slash ten. Okay, anything in, inside of that subnet is is what is called a link local address. So let's go ahead on here and uh, let's try to see if we can see this stuff taking place, you know, in real time on our routers so we can get a little better idea of how this all how this all works because it can be a little intimidating at first look when you see an IP address this big you're like, "Geez, what what is that?" So, but you know, when you see it in this form, the smaller form, it looks a little more approachable. And what you